Time to play with some clay. Well, another day. Let's see how far I can get today. I'm going to take this off. It's had enough time to cool off, so it's going to keep its shape pretty good. And I'm just going to start working on the uh, legging and the foot. I'm going to move some of these tools out of the way. Because I'm just going to get in the way. Okay, let's get back to work on this. I want to zero in on the uh, moccasins so you can see what I'm talking about. What I'm making is the uh, flap that goes uh, just at the ankle for the opening of the uh, moccasin. Just adding some wrinkles to the surface of the uh, moxin. It just gives it uh, a feel of soft leather. The top part would be soft, but it would be sewn onto a sole of rawhide. The beadwork on a moccasin would be, uh, if they wore, even had beadwork, would be simple. It wouldn't be complicated because beads have a tendency to get snagged on things and rip off. But I'm going to do, do a simple beadwork only because I want to have a little extra color on the bronze. Nice thing about a quiet studio, I can hear my self, my uh, cameras shut off with a little click. <laughs> some work to do on that leg or that foot.
Okay, I'm just establishing the bottom of the leggings. <clears throat> and adjusted the shape of the foot. Okay. I need some softer clay. I'll come back after I get this uh, going here and uh, show you what I've done. All right, I got the uh, wrinkles in the leggings like I like them. And uh, now we'll add the uh, flap. Well, that's going to be it for tonight. I'm just not going to be able to get to the other one until next week. And, uh, but I like the way this turned out. The, the hardest part is making it look thin enough to be cloth or even a blanket material. And, uh, not look, making it look like it's really, really weighted. But, uh, light on the skin and getting the right wrinkles in the legging too. I didn't show you all that because I show it in my uh, instructional DVDs how I do that and uh, I just like I said before it's information that other people pay for and I'm not going to just hand it out to everybody for free especially after somebody paid for it so uh, like I said, I'll pick this up next week and uh, I'm liking it so far. I think I am going to redo that uh, bow quiver. So, something i got to think about over the weekend or the rest of the weekend. All right, good night everybody and I'll see you next time. Still don't know what I'm going to call it. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.